Friends, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this holy Eucharist of love. Today, the Church invites all of us to pray for the unity among churches and unity among us. Today is the feast of the dedication of the Lateran Basilica. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us call to mind all our sins and our failures and ask the Lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have failed. Let us confess together I confess Lord, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and my sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. And therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us glorify the Lord together as we sing. Sing to God a song of glory, peace He brings to people on earth. Worship me, the King of heaven, praise and bless His holy name.
Gutter Spray O God who from living and chosen stones prepare an eternal dwelling for your majesty increase in your church the spirit of grace you have bestowed so that by new growth your faithful people may build up the heavenly Jerusalem. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 3, verses 9 to 11 and 16 to 17. You are God's building. By the grace God gave me, I succeeded as an architect and laid the foundations on which someone else is doing the building. Everyone doing the building must work carefully. For the foundation, nobody can lay any other than the one which has already been laid, that is, Jesus Christ. Did not you realize that you were God's temple and that the Spirit of God was living among you? If anybody should destroy the temple of God, God will destroy him, because the temple of God is sacred and you are that temple. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is for us a refuge and strength, a helper close at hand, in time of distress, so we shall not fear, though the earth should rock, though the mountains fall into the depths of the sea. Your response? The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within. It cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. Your response? The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come, consider the works of the Lord, the redoubtable deeds He has done on the earth. Your response? The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia! I have chosen and consecrated this house, says the Lord, for my name to be there forever. Alleluia! The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O God. Chapter 2, verses 13 to 22. Just before the Jewish Passover, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. And in the temple he found people selling cattle and sheep and pigeons, and the money changers sitting at their counters there, making a whip out of some cord, he drove them all out of the temple, cattle and sheep as well, scattered the money changers' coins, knocked their tables over, and said to the pigeon sellers, Take all this out of here, and stop turning my father's house 
into a market. Then his disciples remembered the words of scripture, zeal for your house will devour me. The Jews intervened and said, what sign can you show us to justify what you have done? Jesus answered, destroy this sanctuary and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews replied, It has taken 46 years to build this sanctuary. Are you going to raise it up in three days? But he was speaking of the sanctuary that was his body. And when Jesus rose from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the words he had said. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus the Lord, Today is a very important feast day for all of us. The feast of the dedication of the Lateran Basilica indicates that this is the mother church, the head church for all of us. It even unites the See of Peter, unites all the churches in the city and in the whole world. So we are called today to pray for the unity of the church and all the people, the community. The Basilica was built in 325 by Emperor Constantine. This church was built on the Lateran Hill in Rome. This was to be the mother, the head of all the churches in the city and in the whole world. So my dear friends, let us spend some time in praying for the unity in the church along with the leader of the church, that is Pope Francis our head. Today Jesus is extolling each one of us to know what the church is. Is church a building? Is church a beautiful monument? Is church a structure? we need to introspect. Jesus, whenever he went to Jerusalem, he landed up in big controversies. Because when he went to the church, the temple, he goes and pokes their sentiments. And how? By reminding them of their duty by reminding the leaders of what they should be doing as leaders in the name of God. And this is what happens. When he goes to the temple, he finds that people have made the temple into a big business. A business place, money lenders are there, exchange of money, people who are selling, offering things, offering birds and animals, and then Jesus gets disturbed because the temple of God, his temple, is being made as a marketplace. He does not say, it is my temple. He says, the temple of God, his father's temple, is made into a marketplace. Therefore, he tries to chase them out. 
He turtles their tables. He puts them out. And with aggression, they begin to question him. With what authority are you doing this? Yes. This man, God, is doing it with an authority. Therefore, he did it. The person of truth, the person who is the owner, will not like that his house is made into a marketplace. He says, you destroy this sanctuary and I will build it up in three days. They were disturbed to understand this. It is blasphemous to say that because it has taken 46 years to build this temple, to build this house, this sanctuary. And now, when they are disturbed, they want to eliminate this person. They want to question him left and right. But the eyes of the disciples were opened when Jesus died and he rose again. Yes. This is what Jesus has said. It is the temple of the body. We will die and on the third day we will rise again to new life. So my dear friends, here is the temple. Your whole body is the temple of God. Do not destroy the temple. Do not make it into a marketplace by our acts by our words, by our ill dealing with one another, with unforgiving attitude, with ill treating people, or thinking bad about one another. Keep this temple very sacred. Jesus eliminates this idea of structural temple. And he says to us, the temple is the concern of the community, the church, feeling for one another, being with one another, forgiving one another, and working, walking with one another. This is the temple that Jesus envisioned, and this is the temple that God himself has created. So my dear friends, sometimes we are totally engrossed by the structural feelings of the church. And we are not worried about the internal, the community-oriented church, the church that is a relationship between you and me, church that is a communication between you and me, and there lies God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit in our relationship with one another and as a community that will live in unity and harmony. Amen. We offer you, O Lord, divine We praise them on your altar, Lord, today. Lord, accept our offering. Make them worthy of your love. Send your blessings from above. Sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray. my brothers and my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. 
Accept, we pray, O Lord, the offering made here, and grant that by it those who seek your favor may receive in this place the power of the sacraments and the answer to their prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in your benevolence you are pleased to dwell in this house of prayer in order to perfect us as the temple of the Holy Spirit, supported by the perpetual help of your grace, and resplendent with the glory of a life acceptable to you. Year by year, you sanctify the Church, the Bride of Christ, foreshadowing in visible buildings, so that rejoicing as the mother of countless children she may be given her place in your heavenly glory. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts be pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them let the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, 
we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you obey the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. for all the necessary graces, both material and spiritual, thanking our dear Mother for accompanying us, for being with us, especially during the times when we needed her the most. Let us pray through the intercession of our dear Mother for all those people who need the Lord's assistance, those who need healing, the families who have no jobs, persons who are struggling in the hospitals, families who have experienced the death of their near and dear ones, praying for those who are suffering due to COVID-19. We ask our dear Lord to heal all of them. Lord, bless those families who are in tensions and turmoils. Bless all of us, we pray. Bless the whole church that we may remain united, that we may grow in numbers, that we may grow in love for you, that we may grow in learning the Word of God and developing our lives spiritually. Let us pray. 
O God who chose to foreshadow for us the heavenly Jerusalem, through the sign of your church on earth, grant we pray that by our partaking of this sacrament we may be made the temple of your grace and may enter the dwelling place of your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, wishing you all a very happy feast. And may you have a wonderful day with your family and friends. Music